Hey guys, Jeff Ryan here. I'm just going through and weeding down anything that doesn't get enough track time. Why? It is eBay time for me. I've been going through all the cases, looking at what I have, and again, if anything doesn't have enough track time, uh, it's it's gonna be gone. So what I've done, we'll go ahead and over to the bench, is I got a bunch of things and I'll go over it with you guys. I always like giving you guys like a, a preview of what I got going on. So if you do want to bid on this stuff, you'll, you'll, you'll get a, a, a video of it as well. Uh, here's some of the things uh, I've got. Let's just go ahead and start here in front. The two chassis there, I'll probably sell them individually. The uh, one here with the Hong Kong sticker, that's never been on the Transformer. It's never been used. It's a tough one. It has no track time. This one, I remember rebuilding that one, and uh, it runs quite well, quite well. A lot of guys like the speed of the tough ones. Uh, they're too fast for me, too fast for me. Uh, I know a lot of guys like the hubs and the tires that look good, so I'm going to have those go up as well. I've got the, a little bit of everything there. I've got the truck tires, or the slicks rather, the doom buggy tires, the standard ones with the rims. They all look pretty good. Now, right here is a little uh, kit that... Uh, Boy, I, I don't know when I got it, but it looks like it's uh, front and back axle, probably for the fray stuff. I'm not sure, but everything that you need there is there for it. So that, that'll be gone. That'll be gone. Uh, this here, this is interesting. I've had this for, boy, uh, a lot of years. This is a uh, Corvette made from Road Race Replica. Phil Pinion and the boys do some outstanding work. And I know I've got the windshield and I know the head's in there as well. And I remember getting it and looking at the instructions and what's interesting about it is part of the T-Jet chassis, the top plate, to get the Corvette to, to sit down on it, you need to trim a little bit of that off and then it sits down on it perfectly. But I've never had it on chassis, it's always been in the package except for when I read the instructions there and it's just a really, really, really neat piece. Okay, here's another thing I got going up. It looks like a front axle and again, I don't know when I got this, but I've got everything for it. I got the little end cap, I got the axle, I got the two hubs and tires there. So that'll be going up. And uh, sticking with the uh, hubs and everything, there, there's uh, so many times I just have too many of uh, the axles, too many of the hubs, and I just put a little package together there of them together. Some guys like them loose, some want them together. I just put them together what I got there. Uh, what do we have in the center? That is a uh, super modified made by Dash. The body was uh, clear. I sprayed it with the Molotov Chrome. And plus there's a chrome, but it's gold chrome kit. That uh, The wing, the uh, Nerf bars, the front and back bumper, it's all there. And I've got a guide pin and a couple screws. And the body's never been mounted. Body's never been mounted. So that's kind of neat. Uh, Chapriel doesn't have a wing, doesn't have the headlights, and doesn't have the windshield. I took um, I took the windshield and lights and used them for mine, but it's in great shape. Um, it's just, it's been clean. I, the screen post, I think there's a slight crack in the front one, but that's it. It comes with the two screws and a guide pin. The uh, what is this Firebird? Good shape, except for except for you see a little bit of a crack in the uh, eh, the screw post, the window post up there near the uh, roof. That's all I see on it. Other than that, real good shape. Uh, the wheel wheels, everything's intact, except for that window post. Looks really good, I cleaned that one up too. And here is the purple uh, Riviera. I wanted to make that one, uh, originally when I got it, I wanted to make that one a candy, and I used the wrong type of paint, you know, and it just, um, it, it came out horrible. So I stripped everything off, painted it purple, and it came out very, very good. And look at the shoes on it. I mean, this is like, I think I transformer tested it. I don't know if it's been on the track. I really don't. I, I think I said, okay, the thing runs and I don't like how fast uh, Auto World has made the chassis. So I'm definitely not gonna keep that. I think Auto World and everybody that's producing um, the chassis like uh, Jag, um, you know, just th there's so many of them out there that are really, really, really strong. They're fast. The reason I like the old T-Jet chassis is because they're not as fast. That's why I gravitate towards them. Uh, what else do I have? Okay. The, oh, oh, oh very quickly. Uh, you see the front tires there? They came off the uh, Datsun. I, I finally got a proper set of uh, tires all around there. So it no longer sounds like it's running on stone front tires when, uh, when it goes on the track. I've been having a ball with it now that it's got the proper set of tires. This is a neat little piece. This is a swivel front uh, guide pin 
I don't know if Aurora made it. I don't know who made it, but this bugger works. It works. It swivels, and it's two parts there. It's two parts. Plus, I'm, uh, I'll take some more pictures of it uh, uh, discombobulated, but I'm also sending a little screw there. And uh, just for fun, this whole little packet right here. I've got a um, or parts for a vibrator, parts for a T-Jet chassis. I've got, uh, what do I got? Six, 12 magnets there. And in the little coffin bin here, I've got some, what do I got? Guide pins, screws. I've got some springs. I've got uh, the V brushes, the standard brushes. Uh, a little guy there, the Batmobile back windshield. That is a tiny one. That's a tiny Batmobile windshield. Got a couple of uh, shoes and some uh, crown gears and more tires than I'm just trying to get rid of. So everything pictured here will be in one auction, plus the clamshell box there. All right, guys, um, that's what's going on. Oh, 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 another thing going up. I know it sounds funny, but that is a huge Cheeto. It is a huge Cheeto, guys. I got the, the, the Cheeto uh, bag is underneath of it. I have never seen a Cheeto this big in my life, this round, this cylindrical. Just for fun, if we have a Cheeto enthusiast out there, I'm going to offer it on eBay. Uh, it will be a nominal bid, but it is the biggest, most cylindrical, roundest Cheeto I've ever seen in my life. I, I, I'm going to put like a dime or something up against it so you can actually see the actual you know, size comparison. But that is a huge, huge Cheeto. Too funny. All right, guys, just wanted to give you a heads up of what I've got going up on eBay. Let me know if you have any questions. These should be going up here soon. All right, guys, have fun. See ya.